What up, my peoples? Hey. Leon over here. And I'm Dorothy. And today we want to tackle another topic uh, that we thought uh, would be helpful in this time. Yeah. And the topic is about uncertainty mm -hmm. and not being sure about tomorrow mm -hmm. and the events that are mm -hmm. going to unfold. Yeah. And so just going to share you know, our experiences and when have you ever felt uncertain about the future? I know it probably many times, but <laughs> give us one six scenario. Uh, I think I remember the most uncertainty I've ever felt was last year probably january okay as the year began we had a wedding we didn't know when the wedding would be mm -hmm. how which city we would live in we were trapped in two different cities whether or not i'd pass my first year phd yeah. school fees um work where the wedding would happen work finances and i'd have so many conversations with people and people would ask me how are you doing what's happening what's the situation and i'm like i don't know i think <laughs> i said i don't know so many times until i got tired yeah, yeah. actually one one thing that you reminded me of is our wedding time um like people were catching feelings because we hadn't sent out invites but we did <laughs> like know the date we didn't know like if we're gonna come to kenya and so on yeah. and so forth and so like yeah crazy we set a date and even with our marriage license we got it a day before our wedding the day before yeah so if those guys decided to give us the wedding license we just cancelled the <laughs> wedding on people yeah it was like that was one way we were like so uncertain and sure of, of things of yeah. how things would go yeah. um and how did you get over and through that period um, I think one of the things that I learned mm -hmm. early on, especially because like in a time like this where there's so much uncertainty, the number of questions just keep piling up. Yeah. And for me, I would ask myself, okay, what can I control? And what can I change? What can I take control over? Mm -hmm. And in some cases, maybe it would be like my fitness, so I decide to, you know, eat more healthy or something. Or if um, the thing that I can control is writing a guest list then I would do that um, so that's yeah that's the thing I think for me that I learned is change whatever it is that you can't control and work on it like just pick a struggle mm -hmm. run with it yeah, yeah. yeah so for just focusing on what you can control yeah and I think that's also for me one of the things that I could control was my spiritual walk with God mm -hmm. I just felt like if I was afloat in my spiritual and my relationship with God, mm -hmm. then whatever would come uh, in the future, mm -hmm. I'd find security and peace uh, mm -hmm. in however the events may, may turn. Yeah. And this reminds me of um, Matthew 6, where Jesus is just talking about how even if we worry mm -hmm. uh, and are anxious about things in life, that mm -hmm. we cannot even add a single day uh, to our lives or a moment yeah. or an hour we can't add yeah. that but when we trust a God who is over all creation who is the author of our lives he is able to give us a sense of security that we can't find in yeah. ourselves or in the world around us yeah. so I think the idea of just being afloat spiritually and casting our mm -hmm. anxieties and fears to go yeah. kept me going yeah, yeah. and it's not just um it's not a shpiri christianism answer picture perfect answer um it can be hard to focus on god sometimes your thoughts are so crazy i remember at some point i couldn't even sit down with all of my thoughts to s say out loud a prayer or to write because i do prayer journaling and i was yeah. like i had to start getting creative with my faith yeah. so when i couldn't read the bible i was listening to a sermon or a podcast mm -hmm. um at some point i was even drawing my prayers like that was it yeah, yeah. i would draw my prayers yeah. at times i just to write words and have this picture um i i don't even know how to explain it but i would just paint and draw my prayers and that really helped like getting creative with how it is that i engage with god how i listen to god mm -hmm. um that really really did help me in mm -hmm. a in a huge time of uncertainty and even now it's one of the things that's really really helping me yeah yeah, yeah. And one thing uh, we need to understand is that, you know, the reason why for me spirituality is a big thing is um, we are spiritual beings here. and just the way um, for our bodies we need physical food, mm -hmm. our spiritual beings also need spiritual food. Yeah. And so whether it's prayer, 
or spending time in God's word, like those things do lighten up your day and your mood and your your situation. Yeah. So I pray that you will get to, um, yeah, to practice something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope you can. Um, in all this uncertainty, you can find something that you can take control of, whether it's actually listening to the rules and sitting in, whether it's um, having this time to decide to write up your business plan, mm -hmm. to start creative work, to um, make changes in your personal life and just have a self audit. Yeah. There's so many things that you can do during this time of uncertainty and one of the things that blessed me is that some of the things I've done in previous seasons of uncertainty mm -hmm. have laid foundations of faith, have laid foundations of um, good work ethic um, in the yeah. times that came before. Yeah. And so I'll just close us off with the serenity prayer, which um, is actually quite profound. So it just says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So in this time, I hope that you and I can control the things we can and bring change the way we can and that for the rest we will not just have the serenity to accept it but to cast our cares to God mm -hmm. who is listening and cares for us. Absolutely. Yeah. And also we have a question for you. How yeah. have you gotten through uh, times of anxiety and times of uncertainty? Mm -hmm. Especially even during this time. Like what are you what are some of the things you've been doing? Yeah. Um you share with us, let us know. Yeah. Now peace out. Bye. Bye.